What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I actually have a mystery box that I'm gonna be unpacking. Um, it's a pretty big one. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So here is the $350 mystery box right here. As you can, guys can see, it is a big one. Um, I actually have it next to my Hell in a Cell chair and um, you guys can see how big it is. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, crack this thing open and uh, see what's in it. So yeah, this comes from the homie NSB clan over on Instagram. I mentioned him before. He just messaged me one day on Instagram and asked me um, if I needed some inventory. Of course, with everything that's going on, I haven't been able to go out and buy or find anything. So I said, yeah. He asked me if I was interested in a $350 mystery box. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. So I sent him the $350. A couple days later, this big uh, behemoth came in the mail. I've bought him stuff from him before and I've sold a lot of stuff to him before. So I trust him. Um, I knew that he wouldn't like screw me over or nothing, but I have no idea what's in this box. So uh, we're about to find out together. So let's go ahead and uh, crack this thing open. I'm gonna do my best not to look and see what's in it, but this thing is pretty big. So I'm gonna try to cut it open um, and uh, try not to see what's in it and um, pull it out. All right, now that this is open, um, yeah, I'm seeing what's in it. <laughs> the box is just too big for me to like pull stuff out randomly, but um, I think I opened it upside down because I'm seeing a bunch of Nike SB boxes like face down. So maybe I was supposed to open it the other way. <laughs> but I see three Nike SB blue boxes. Um, I'm gonna get through the loose shoes first. So this is a mixture of shoes and clothing. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get through it. So the first thing that I'm pulling out, we have a pair of the Kobe 9s in the um, USA colorway. These are a U size 5Y. Here is the other one, uh, still in pretty good shape. No heel drag or nothing, they just need to be uh, cleaned up pretty good. So that's the first thing in the box. The next thing in the box is a pair of loose SB blazers. We have a pair of the Lordless Warriors right here. On the back, you got the Lordless Warriors on the heel. Size 11, they do need a good cleaning. The midsole is a little yellowed, but uh, that just happens with age. So that's the second loose pair of shoes in here. The next pair of loose shoes, we have another pair of loose shoes. It's the Penny Ones in the Orlando Magic colorway. Definitely one I would have cleaned up and kept for myself if they were a little bit smaller. These are a size 11. So uh, these are gonna have to go. I see another loose pair at the bottom. Let me uh, grab those out. And that shoe is a pair of the Neck Face Blazers. These are a size 10 and a half, super dope shoe. Um, again, they just need to be cleaned up. Let me see if I can uh, dig out the other one real quick. Here is the other one. I'm gonna see, um, obviously somebody painted the white swoosh with black paint. Maybe I can get that black paint off and get them back to the way they were. Um, I'm gonna try to do that. So that's shoe number four. He also sent the little Hot Wheel, the Miata. I think I have this one already, but I'm gonna have to check and see. So there's actually four more shoe boxes in here. Um, those are all the loose ones. Now I'm gonna show you the ones in the boxes. Okay, so we have a pair of, um, well, the box says it's a pair of Janowskis, but as you can see, it's a replacement box for the charcoal blazers. And here they are right here. These are a size 11 as well. These are actually still super clean. Size 11 is too big for me, so I'm uh, definitely gonna be getting rid of these as well. Shoe number five. Shoe number six. Um, this is also a Janowski box. Um, I guess that's what's in here. Maybe not this colorway, or maybe it is. I'm not too sure. Um, but it's a pair of these wood grain Janowskis. Janowskis, Janowskis, whatever you wanna call them. And these are actually still super clean as well. These only look like they've been worn very much, if you can tell by the inside. I remember back when these were like super hyped up and everybody wanted a pair of Janowskis, Janowskis. Nowadays, not so much, um, but still a clean colorway and still very clean overall. So that's shoe number six. Shoe number seven, size 10 and a half. Um, okay, so these are the Swoosh Life Blazers. Well, at least that's what, yeah, they are. These are actually a 10 and a half. I'm probably gonna keep these. Yeah, they are. So, um, cool story behind these. I actually thrifted a pair of these a couple years ago, but they were a size eight, I wanna say, eight or eight and a half. So, um, of course, way too small for me, so I ended up getting rid of them. It was a shoe that I really wanted in my collection, um, and here is a size 10 and a half pair right here, and they're still in really good shape. And I'm pretty sure this is the uh, original box and everything, too. That's shoe number seven in here. We have a, another shoe box. This is a Nike Lab Air Force One uh, Purple Stardust, I guess, is what they are. So we have a pair of this super purple lavender uh, pair of Air Force Ones. <laughs> The quality on these is really good though. Like this is uh, some really good leather. And again, these don't look like they were worn very much as you can tell by the stars. So that's shoe number eight. And I wanna say this is the last shoe in here unless there's something buried under all these clothes. But if not, that's the last one, eight pairs of shoes. So now let's go ahead and jump into the clothes. I don't know what's in here. Um, everything's like folded up. So I'm just gonna pull it out and um, show you guys what it is. So starting off with the first thing we have a starter Florida State jersey. That one is a size XL. Just got Florida State spelled out right there on the front. And then on the sleeve, you have the uh, logo and then the starter logo. So that's the first thing right there. 
The second thing, we have a puffer jacket, and it's this Nike jacket right here with this big rubber swoosh on the back. It's half black and half white. Um, the white part is a little yellow from age, but it actually doesn't look too bad. And that one is a size large. And then on the front, on the chest, you also have the little Nike rubber logo right there. And then going down the sides, you have this 3M strip of silver. So that's clothing item number two. Clothing item number three, we have another jacket. And it's this um, game day Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, pullover windbreaker. You got like the kangaroo pocket in the front. Hopefully with uh, Tom Brady going to the Bucks, uh, maybe somebody will want this. It's got the hidden hoodie that you can put inside the collar. So that's that one. Next thing, we got a black t-shirt. What is this one? We got the Black Butler anime tee. I'm gonna be honest, I've never watched Black Butler personally, but um, but I've heard good things about it. Size tag is a little faded on that one, but I'm pretty sure this one's a size large. So that's that one. Next item in here is this majestic blue Jays jersey. Again, the size tag's missing on this one, so I don't know what size it is. It looks like it's like about a large. We got Blue Jays Club down there. The logo stitch in on the front, and then number 25 stitched on the back. So that's that. Next thing we got, we have a Cardinals Albert Pujols jersey. Pujols number five on the back. Cardinals stitched in on the front. That one is by Dynasty Size XL. That's that one. Moving on, we got another black tee. This one is, this one is a Woodstock tee. As you can see, you got Woodstock right there. Snoopy on the other side, about to pump the football. That one is on a jerseys tag, size XL. Dope shirt overall. Pulling out the next one, we got a Nike Windbreaker pullover. And it's a Boston Red Sox. That one is a size, that one is a size XL. You got the Red Sox logos right there, stitched in on the left sleeve, super clean. We got a blue t-shirt. This one is, all right, this has to be the shirt that he was talking about. He told me there was gonna be a shirt in here that was a size large that uh, he really liked, but it didn't fit him. And uh, looking at this shirt, I don't think it's gonna fit me either, which sucks, I really like this one. And this is Dragon Ball Z Android 13 T. You got Vegeta, Gohan, and Goku right there, and then you got Android 13 in the background. Which Android 13 was always one of those cool villains that you just, um, you didn't, he was only in that one movie, so you, nobody really talked about him. But I thought he was always cool how he was like a hillbilly android and he turns into this thing. That one's dated 2000 and it's a size large like I was saying. And then on the front you have Dragon Ball Z. This is definitely my favorite shirt that's come out of this box so far and um, it sucks because this is too small for me. There's one more clothing item and then there's another pair of shoes in here. Um, I guess there was another pair buried. Uh, but we have this uh, Florida Marlins Russell Athletics like training jersey. You got the little logo right there stitching on the side. And then uh, the Florida Marlins logo right there. Nothing on the back. And then the last pair of shoes that was at the very bottom. We have a pair of the Nike SB Blazers in the Optical Illusion colorway. So you got like the Nike, the Optical Illusion. And then on the inside you got the dude with the swirly glasses on. Again, they just need a good cleaning and uh, they'll be good to go. So that's those. And I'm pretty sure these are a size, yeah, size 11 as well paper that was on the bottom and there's one last thing in here and that one last thing is right here in this supreme bag <laughs> so uh, let's see what's in here of course he sent some supreme box logo stickers like he always does with all of the stuff that i get from him and the shirt that's in here is this uh poo nanny train i guess that's what it is um excuse me like i don't know anything about supreme so i don't know uh, what this shirt is or what it's worth or anything like that uh, you guys can let me know in the comments and that one is a size XL and then on the back you have uh, designed by Lemius I don't know and then the little supreme box logo and that is the last thing in this mystery box that I got so that's everything in this mystery box like I said in the beginning of the video I paid $350 shipped for it so you guys can let me know down in the comments if I got a good deal I'm pretty sure I can get some of that back just on the shoes alone once I clean them up there was nine pairs of shoes and 11 clothing items my favorite for sure are the Dragon Ball Z shirt like I said that's probably my favorite in the whole box and then that Supreme shirt as well don't know anything about Supreme but yeah let me know down in the comments if you think I got a good deal on this box or not um a big majority of this stuff is going to be for sale. Like I said, the reason why I got this box is because I needed inventory and um, I haven't been able to go anywhere. But supposedly the thrift stores and everything are supposed to be opening up tomorrow. So I um, look forward to another trip to the thrift soon, hopefully. Oh yeah, and this one Hot Wheels in there too. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It lets me know. Helps the channel grow. You know all that stuff. Uh, maybe I'll do another one of these. I'll find somebody else selling a mystery box if you guys do want to see one of these again. And subscribe if you're not already. And um, I will see you guys next week with another video. Oh, also, uh, you probably noticed that I'm not, I haven't did the hat giveaway in this video. Uh, the reason being is because I just recorded that video yesterday and uploaded it yesterday. 
Um, so I want to give it more time for more people to get entered. Um, because at the time of recording this video, I had just uploaded and made that video yesterday. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but just know that, yes, that video and this video are only a day apart. So I want to give that one more time to get some more comments, let some more people get entered into the giveaway. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you soon with another video. So later.